Rhino, they sell it. Yay. You walk to the millinery and find five bandits lounging around on big piles of half-made hats. It's the loss. Get out. The bandits scatter like cockroaches, each shutting themselves behind a different door. Guess you'll have to wrangle them individually. Fine. This patch of filthy floor wears a lot of hats. Remember, you have to, uh... It, well, you don't have to. It's recommended you bring them in peacefully, because then you get more stuff. These crates are full to the top with brims. This was apparently the demo model from a player piano showroom. It's only got three songs in it. They're all children's versions of traditional songs that are in the recently invented public domain, and they're all set up to play just the first few seconds on a loop. The people who worked here must have hated it. What song do you want to set the dial to? The Yellow Rose of Public Domain. Ugh. These hats look like they're more comfortable to sit on than to wear. This door is very locked. The remaining bandits will corner if you go in there now. Better take care of them first. Oh, uh, okay. Hat room number one. Hmm, I wonder which one he is. Is this where they're hiding? J'accuse! Alright, one down. Hmm. Shoddy hats, crappy chapeaus. What's the what's the say over there in the dents? You don't know much about hat making, but you know this doesn't make any sense. Oh, that one uh, moved! Uh -huh. J'accuse! I surrender. Uh, that, this is the on liners. Given the quality of one liners around here, you don't need multiple. I'll do that in a moment. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else. No, okay. This is the odd one out. J'accuse! Squatchies. There are parts with some kind of uh, with some weird kind of hat you'd never wear. Aha! Uh, uh -huh. Jacques! It's always the top left. Not for the first room. Brims, brims, brims. Brims, brims, brims. Even more brims. Hmm. I like how we could only see your hat from back there. Hmm. Hang on, I think I have an idea. Play a different song? Is that whistling you hear? Uh -huh. J'accuse! Damn it, I love that song. Found all five of the bandits. I want to go in the office first. Uh, several years worth of hat magazines. Hat trend, hat and head, hats today, that kind of thing. The guy who sat here wore a lot of hats, but he made even more. It's a safe, slightly larger than a large cowboy hat. I need safe cracking. All right, let's deal with them. Turn them in. You march the black hat bandits back to dirt water on the end of a rope and lock them in the town jail. Where'd you find them? The old millinery? Mil mil millinery? Yep. Of course, you know, bandits would be a lot harder to find, and they didn't keep picking such dramatic hideouts for some reason. Anyway, here's your reward. All in a day's work. That's left is ghost prison at the haunted pickle factory. All right, let's uh let's go to sell things. No, nope. oh oh, hot dog. Hot dog. Howdy, Doug. Well, if it isn't my savior, good old Maximus. Howdy yourself. The sign outside. 
Yeah, I had to change the name. I tried to file a trademark, and it turns out there's already something called a hot dog. What is it? Trust me, you don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. Anyway, a single letter removed, and I'm in business. He gestures at the menu on the wall behind him. Buy something. Elegant hot dog. Huh. So those are really good. I imagine you just want to start off the day by eating one to get your moxie up to astounding levels. All right. If something says just sell it, I am going to sell it because I assume that means you really can't do anything with it. Yeah, that's the only time I would suggest selling something, though. All right. I'm going to I want to test something. OK, no. So if you if you OK, so you can't buy back stuff you sold, so I can't get that hat back. Damn it. Oh, uh, well. This is exactly enough sausage and exactly enough bun to qualify as a hot dog. It is perfectly efficient. A thick, sturdy hot dog for a thick, sturdy cowboy. This hot dog has been embellished with a zesty sauce. Don't get too excited, though. The zesty sauce is just regular old mustard. I mean, I'll take it. You know, I'm fine with a good old mustard dog. <sighs> Something's weird with me. I don't like hot dogs, but I can never remember that I don't like hot dogs. <laughs> So Does like, that mean you just haven't found a hot dog that you like, or are you just buying into? Like, do you buy into them and you're like, eh? Or you buy into them and you're like, bleh? It, I, I'd say it's more like bleh. But mm. I, to be fair, I'm, I'm kind of mostly referring to like the ones you buy from Frozen and, and Heat. I probably would like like, what proper ones made at like a carnival or whatever. But maybe I don't do Frozen. We have refrigerated ones though. And I found that if you spring for like the Angus ones, or if you make like chili dogs or something, it's just for some reason like it's specifically the meat part of it. I don't know why, but I constantly will be like, hmm, you know what? I'm in the mood for a hot dog. I'll go to the effort of making hot dogs. I'll be disappointed if we don't have hot dogs. I'll make it, put on mustard and ketchup, take a bite, and I'm like, oh right, I don't like this. I don't know why I can never remember that I don't like hot dogs. <laughs> It seems to me like maybe you just aren't getting the right ones for you. I'm going to buy one of each of these and hold on to them. Right. Hang on. Are there any other stuff built up here? I don't think it would necessarily go in order, so... My life is a lie! <laughs> All right, so that's hot dog, that's the jail, that's the post office. Do I have any mail? Okay. And here we go. Wait, no, I already sold stuff. What am I doing? Uh, do I have anything? I've oh, yeah, I have some random stuff that I get loads of that I want to sell. Uh, yeah, let's go with my consum consumables. I can eat two things, drink two things, and medicine two things. Yep. Oh, wait, what does that sandwich say? Uh, increases your moxie by five, but decreases your muscle and mysticality by three. Yeah, that would drop you to sub ten on some stuff. Yeah. Uh. Cow's blood. This is some blood from a demon cow. It pulses and scintillates and bubbles as if it's still alive. Well, I guess the bubbling would be kind of a problem if it were alive. Increase your muscle by 11 and your maximum HP by 25 for the rest of the day, but you shouldn't drink it. I think you should take it. You should take the hint on that. Yeah. All right, let's see. Which of these do I want to eat? My moxie is 32. I feel like I don't need to make it even more. Nah, stack the shit out of it. I'm going to eat the muscle dog, so then I'm at 20. Yes, it was a very big dog. All right, uh... Eat the saucy dog. Mm, I'm, I'm gonna see what else I have first. I think I might use eat the geode first. Hang on. This stuff is made out of cow stomach. Uh, yeah, you know what? No. I'm coming back to that. I literally can't drink the tainted milk. Maybe it's a cow puncher thing? I guess. Let's see. Jelly desk cargo. Moxie by 3. Maximum HP by 20. 
You know what? Yeah, because I think I'm going to be going back and after that one thing, so... You should really send her a postcard. I would, but I used my postcard to send it to my brother. Uh, all right, now my my liver. All right, where's the stuff that uh, increases your melee damage? Not bad. All right, where's the stuff that increased my defense? That was a thing. There it is. Uh, muscle. Oxy. Speed. What is speed? Uh, pretty much, you know how you act first sometimes in combat and sometimes the enemy acts first? Yeah. I think it's that. Hmm. And also maybe, like, your evasiveness, I'm not certain. Alright, drink that. I don't need to increase my melee damage because my gun is better. Always guns. <laughs> Mo is Moxie gun damage? I forget. I think it kind of is. You could probably... Yeah, just hover over it and see. How much damage you deal when shooting? Okay. Do it. Do it. Yeah, for, for, damage, first, I'm gonna, damage. first I'm gonna do that, and then... Saucy doll. Well, I can't eat it, but I, I can drink something to, uh, to do my moxie. All right. So, that's fine. Where's that wine? There it is. C'est la vie. And now, I can do that again. Can drink one more, one more alcohol. No, it's spleen, not liver. Oh, sorry. Medicine. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. All right. You were toted up. I am going after those clowns, and I'm going to fucking kill them all. Where was it? Are you sure? Yes. All right. It wasn't the clown campsite. Uh, Butterfield Ranch? Oh, the no, it was, it's the tannery. Ah, right. That makes sense. Cheese Puff knows the camp of bandits before you do and dies behind a large creosote bush before they stop you. Capture them alive. Mm, yeah. You got pie. Okay, if that's how I get pie, then I'll do that more often because the pie's good. Danny's tannery. La 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 Got a key. I'm back, and I'm the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> There's a quote. <laughs> okay. One last check here. Armor and Moxie. Yes, that's the best thing I got. Plus one. Yeah, I think that's fine. 9 to 11. Okay, shiny ball. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll keep that on. Okay. All right. We go. Fight. Okay. <laughs> okay, they're going to kill that one, I think. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Well, they didn't go for you. Wow, dude. And got it. Now I have to kill the clowns. <sighs> All right. That's 95. Okay, so the middle oh, that's one. some healthy ass clowns. The middle one is one that I don't have to worry too much about. You could probably take out one between you and Susie. 23 to 24, yeah. Ooh, we do a lot of damage to him. Eh, yeah, great. No, hang on. Only one? Okay. Yeah, I, I want to save that for healing. Okay, this is going a lot better than last time. One down. That dude can't even hit me. Still trying, bless his heart. And then shoot his heart. Whew, it's a good thing the clowns hate cows more than they hate humans, or that fight could have gone way worse. Fortunately, it seems pretty unlikely that you'll run into any more animated leather clad cow skeletons on your adventure. Right? You broke to the hide warily. Looks like it was too tan to be possessed? Must be a sword shed. Manure, boards. There's a guy back here hiding behind a barrel. He isn't very good at hiding. Um, hello? Thank God you aren't one of those horrible clowns. Nope, I'm Maximus. Maximus Reinigan. I'm Grady Tanner. It's a good thing you've arrived. I couldn't have held out for much longer. Are you actually Tanner, or is that your surname? Well, both. What are you doing in here? Hiding. What I mean is, why are you hiding in here? Because I don't want to die. <sighs> Look, what's your story? Well, I was scavenging for tanning materials. Cow's bane ain't as easy to get a hold of as it, <sighs> as it was in the old days. But while I was searching, those cows showed up, and then those clowns showed up, so I locked myself in here to hide. What's cow's bane? It's an herb used for tan and leather. You can't grow it in large batches anymore because cows show up and wreck the place. So there's other stuff we generally use for pig leather and so on. It's not as good, though. Cows wreck your herb gardens? Yeah, if you're growing more than about a flower pot's worth, they get wind of it somehow. They hate stuff. Can't figure out why. Here, I got a few extra seeds you can have. Be careful with them. Back in the cow's bane scenes. How long have you been in here? <clears throat> Three or four days. I'm starving. Cow's bane is poisonous, so I've been chewing on his old leather hat for sustenance. Seriously? Yep. Want some? No, I'm the Pope. Well, I took care of the clowns and the cows, so you consider Wonderful, yourself rescued. You. As soon as I get a new shop set up, you can count me for any leather goods you need. First one's on the house. Uh, wouldn't happen to know where I might set up a new shop, would you? What happened to your old shop? Care to guess? Cows? Yep. There's an empty lot in dirt water you could probably use. Great, I'll head right there. Thanks a million, partner. I owe you one. No problem. Oh, now you have a new dirt water shop. Yep. Alright. Doesn't seem to be anything to investigate around here. I'm talking to Susie, Rhino. Oh. Yeehaw! Said that bastard backward crawl flow. Heck yeah, we did. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. My swag walk. I, uh, did I already look in this? Yeah, I did. Alright. Uh, I want 
go see what the new shop is. Uh, you find a crate lying by the side of the trail. It's lid knocked loose. It has fell off the crate of a cart LTD stenciled on the side, which seems a bit on the nose, but hey, free stuff is free stuff. You fish through the crate and help yourself to the meager but free contents. Lock and another full canteen. Nice. Thought maybe I could tell him about that cactus I spruced up. Hot dog. Brady's fine leather goods. Ooh, he has belts and pants. Well, hey there, Maximus. Welcome to my shop. Looks like you've gotten yourself set up pretty nicely. Sure have. Here, let me give you a little something to thanks for helping me out. Have a sharpening strap on the house. Aw, thanks. So let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Show me your goods. Show me your goods. <sighs> okay, no, flexible chaps, inflexible chaps. Neither of those are particularly good for me. There we go. That's it. That could work. What do I have on my lapel? It's just the revolting brooch. That's actually pretty good. Never mind. Uh, hang oh, on. Oh, well, it was worth the look. Increases the damage of your wet melee weapon by three to four. Oh, so I, I apply it, basically, like with the snake skins? I think so. Hmm. You're basically just sharpening something. And he sells infinite amounts of them, so... I can sharpen my bone. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll keep the thing that gives me plus two to everything. I feel like I'm probably going to have the, the bone for a little while, though. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add to it. You sharpen your St. Beavis's thigh until the straw is worn down to nothing. There we go. All right. Next place. I guess let's go take care of the uh, the haunted pickle factory. Uh, Gretchen Vlas. She was very, very terrible. Patch of pepperoni mold. God, I need to. I need. I need to get freaking a. Uh, Origin. I need to get foraging and safe cracking already. You feel a sudden electrical jolt as your hand touches the doorknob. Ouch! Oh no, you're late for your shift. Mrs. Lass is gonna be so mad. She might literally bite your head off. Okay, well not literally, literally, probably. Quick, get suited up. You clock in and hurriedly put on your bright green coveralls. Mrs. Lass, as predicted, is furious. And again, you better start taking this job for granted. You think you're going to find a place with this, with a nice dormitory and a reasonably priced company store like ours somewhere else? With your skills? Huh. You're doing three shifts today, Buster. Get to work. You're on pickle hopper duty. Start your shift. Pickle hopper duty runs you ragged like always. Keeping the hoppers filled to a constant flow down the chutes means you're constantly at a near sprint because you have to manage the, the cuke shunts to keep the levels equal. If you get uneven pickle levels, Mrs. Flass knows. Nobody knows how she knows, but she knows. A whack from her cane is the minimum you'll get. Damn it, damn it, damn it. At the end of the first six hour shift, you get a brief break. You cram a stale cheese sandwich into your mouth while Mrs. Vlas gears at her pocket watch, counting down three minutes to the second. Break's over, second shift. You get to the salt tank now. Oh God. Managing the salt tank isn't as strenuous as the pickle hoppers, but it's still a never ending tension. The brine concentration has to be constantly monitored and kept at a very specific measurement, which means constant adjustments. Meanwhile, you can feel yourself desiccating from the haze of salt dust that fills the room. If anything in this place kills you, it's probably going to be salt tank duty. White lung is nasty business. <clears throat> Off on your own time, and get that salinity back to normal. It's supposed to be 976 parts per thousand. How hard is that to remember? 976. Idiot. Please let me out of here. You get another 180 second break before third shift. You spend most of it drinking water. The company doesn't charge for water, but you've heard a rumor they're considering it. Break's over, get to the boiler. Oh no, please let me out, please. This is how I felt with my job. Boiler duty means shoveling coal into a furnace, a furnace that runs a giant tank of boiling vinegar. It stings in here. You've tried to work with your eyes closed, but Mrs. Vless screams if you drop any coal on the floor, or if you let the temperature get too low, or too high, or just for no particular reason. At least you're used to the smell of boiling vinegar, in fact, you can't smell anything anymore. Let me out, please let me out. 190 degrees, idiot. Not 189, not 191. What do you think we pay you for? You don't really miss your sense of smell, or not coughing all the time. You don't really want anything anymore, except to die. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. 
With a gas, you finally snap out of the horrible hallucination or possession or whatever the hell that was. Jeez, you can still feel the sting of vinegar vapor in your eyes. Yeah, I'm going in. Now do it all again for real. Trash smells like gherkins, sweet pickles, garlic dill pickles, bread and butter pickles, cornicons, half sour pickles. You don't even know what those are. Dill pickles. It says factory activation lever. Now I'll pull that later. They must be equal. Cuke shunts to be operated by qualified personnel only. You approach the ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Can't sleep until it's right. You all right there, partner? Can't sleep, can't sleep, can't sleep, can't sleep. Yikes. Uh. All right, even them out. Is that... Oh. Not quite. If I remember how this went, you essentially have to get one to get stuck up against the top or bottom while the others keep moving, so that then you can even them out. So those are even. That might be it. I hope so. You approach the ghost. So, 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 gotta salt this out. So, you all right there, partner? So, he's okay. Salt, calm down. Jeez, you're playing Pokemon Unite. I get it. Of course, salt adjustment. The salinity meter on the tank reads 531. Pull. Pull. Of course, salt adjustment. All right. Okay. You remember the number, right? I think 931. 966. No, that one adjusted by 100. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. I was not paying full attention to the story. <laughs> I was. You've also done this before. You approach the ghost. You think I remember the random numbers this game wants me to remember? <laughs> you approach the ghost. It's not right. It's not right. You alright there, partner? All wrong. The temperature is not right. It's all wrong. Not right at all. All right, then. Do you? All wrong. Ah! Steam release valve. Okay. I believe this... 190. Okay. I knew it was I knew it was a, a factor of 10. Okay, another shovel, Extra I guess. shovel. Okay, so the coal makes it go up two degrees, but oh. it's in an odd point right now. So you probably need to let out the steam at least once. Okay, so that does it by ten. There we go. All right. All right. So now, in order to get to 190, let's see. If it's two for each shovel full of coal, then I need to have 60 things of coal in there. Yeah. Wait, what? Why did it say 126? It's not how math works, game. Alright, just put two in there and we'll see. What the fuck? I guess there's a bit of randomness. Alright. Alright. Let's add one piece of coal. Ten degrees. Okay, we're one above. We gotta wait for another odd number to come through. Five degrees. Okay. Okay, so now 176, so... Oh, maybe it was five degrees in, uh, from the beginning and not two. No, it was two at the beginning. I think maybe it changes how much it goes up uh, by whenever it uh, whenever it's hotter. There we go. Okay. Okay. Dude. I 
I think it just changes once you get to a certain point, but I think we can get it now. 24. 3. Just keep it even. Now it's not. Now it is. I imagine we're going to get up to four soon. Yep. Well, well, that's fine. We'll get to five after a bit. Yeah. We're in 72. You're off. Okay. Hmm. So if we lower it and then add enough coal to get it to a, a degree of 10. Yep. So. Okay, so now we're exact. And so I believe it should now go up by fives. So if you add eight Six. coal, I think we should be. We need 190, so yeah, eight. Ah! Fuck. Okay. You bet your ass whenever I got to these things, I would just stand here and just work at it until it went how I needed it. Okay, now we should be able to add. Okay, what happened there? I guess two more were four than we thought. Okay, so now add three. Now we need to get down to two below four. Okay. Can we just add four pieces and call it a day? Hallelujah. <laughs> Pull de neva. Something in the machinery oh. rooms must not be set up correctly. Uh, frickity frickity fru. This is, this is, it's at... This is uh, even between the three of them, if that's what the thing is supposed to be. Uh, talk to the ghost. See if uh, see if maybe if it's even. That's helped him. Oh, okay. It's okay. I took care of the cucumbers. Rest uh, in peace, poor guy. It's finally done. Thank you. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, uh, what was it? I thought I I thought I got this right. What does it need to be? I thought it was nine sixty six. I'm gonna try There something. has to be a way the game looks you lets you look it up again. Hmm, not like that. The game often does this where it always lets you fight them, but if you push through and do the puzzle, you get better results. And here, I'll, I'll look it up since we're here. Oh, my bad. What? 976. The salt is correct. It's finally done. Thank you. The vinegar is 190 degrees. 
Finally done. Thank you. Give me them perfect pickles. You pull the lever and there is a deafening roar as the old machinery springs into life. After a while, a load of pickles is deposited in the receptacle to the left of the switch. Three ghost pickles. Oh, all that work for three pickles? No wonder this place went out of business. Yep. Ah, those bandits all up in there and I expect we heard the last of them. What do you mean? Folks say this old pickle factory's haunted. Not just a little bit. Ooh, spooky. Is that all three of them, then? Yeah, I think so. I did not mean to click that. I thought I was all the way at the bottom. As you're riding along, you see some braided fuses sticking out a nearby rock. Investigating it more closely, you see that somebody drilled a hole in the rock and inserted a bunch of dynamite, but apparently lost interest and wandered away without setting it off. Or maybe they were just out of matches. Their lack of follow-through is your game. Give her the pickle factory remains. What in the world? It's the Gherkin Brothers, and please, I don't want to talk about it. It was really weird. I believe you. Here's the reward. Huh. Looks like these things are still twitching. Better lock them up just to be safe. Thanks a bundle. <sighs> now, talk to her. Oh, hey, good to see you. You know, you really cleaned up the area. I'm plumb out of bounties for you. Does that mean I get to be sheriff? No, but I guess you could be a marshal if you want. Oh, what a coincidence. That's my middle name. Well, thanks again for all your help, Marshal. No problem. Now look at your character screen. God damn it, I didn't even get to choose that one. Howdy, Marshal. <laughs> I know, but it's not like most people are going to call you by that. It's just her. But congratulations, after all that questing, you have earned yourself a middle name. 